My dear friends, let us see a very important part of inner ear which is cochlea. As you all know, cochlea has got two 3 by 4 turns and the basal turn of the cochlea is responsible for hearing high frequency sounds. Now look at the apex of cochlea. The apex of cochlea which is also called helicotrima is responsible for hearing low frequency sounds which means that each part of cochlea is responsible for hearing a unique frequency sound. So do keep in mind whichever disease would affect the basal turn of cochlea first is going to cause high frequency SNHL in early stages. And what are the examples of such disorders? Number one is pressed by acusis, age related SNHL. Number two, drug induced hearing loss means otoxicity. Okay. And number three, the noise induced hearing loss. So my dear friends, drugs, noise and age, they damage the basal turn of cochlea first. So in the earlier stages, you will see the high frequency SNHL. But as disease progresses, it's going to cause the global loss in the, of the hearing in the cochlea. Now let's come to the apex. Now tell me, which is the disease which is going to cause low frequency SNHL because that damages the apex of the cochlea first. The answer is Meniere's disease. Meniere's disease in the earlier stages damages the apex of cochlea first. So that is why we see low frequency SNHL in the early stages of the Meniere's disease. But as disease progresses, there is a global loss of hearing. So guys, this was the very interesting part of the story of the cochlea. Of course, in the app videos, you will learn the story further. But this is something to be remembered that noise, age and drugs damage the basal turn of cochlea first. So therefore, high frequency SNHL. And the meniere's damage is the apex of cochlea first. So therefore, low frequency SNHL. Thank you very much. Keep learning.